I'm Leonard with Housing Around AZ powered by True Realty. Why didn't my house sell? Hey, so here's what's happening. We're going into, as we're going into 2022, we're seeing more houses on the market. The market's still hot, so don't get me wrong. But for some houses, we're seeing it taking longer to sell. And so with that, we need to be, have our game better. Reasons why we think houses don't sell. Number one reason that we see when we look at expired and canceled is the pictures. We want to take amazing pictures. Having somebody come out and just snap some pictures with their cell phone isn't going to get it done. So for our team, what we do is we have a very phenomenal photographer come out and take next level photos. Because again, someone's spending, you know, this is one of the biggest purchases of their life. They want to be able to see great photos. They want to be able to come out, see the house, go over everything and see how amazing it is before they get out of their pajamas and come in. It's the Amazon effect. People are used to buying stuff online. They're buying cars. They're buying everything online. Why aren't they buying their house? So a lot of people want to see amazing photos. And so that's the, usually the first reason that we're seeing why the house didn't move. It just didn't have good photos. Number two, marketing. With marketing, what we're seeing is you've got to make sure everything from the photos, from the descriptions, from the layouts, everything from start to finish just looks good, looks professional. We want, we want to get this person who's sitting at their house out of their pajamas to come down and look at your house. And so we've got to make sure that we're just having everything from top to bottom look uh, amazing. Number three, clutter. With that, what we find is a lot of times, hey, you're moving. Think of it looking at a going into a new build and they've got these model homes and they just look amazing. Well, all it is is they just take down all the stuff like we have in our normal houses. So pack up that stuff, pack up every, all the little tchotchkes that you have around and just be ready to move because especially for our side, if you're working with us, we're selling it. So pack up a lot of the smaller stuff, put it in the garage, get the clutter down. And a lot of times it just makes the photos look that much more amazing. People can see, hey, you spent all this money on this uh, tile floor, they can actually see it. Number four, description. So what we find is you, you have a lot of great features in the house and it was not described in the description. And so going out, making sure that the description from top to bottom just really piques someone's interest, makes them want to come out and look at your house. Number five is the other agent, the agent who listed the house. What we find is a lot of times it's a new agent. It's, you know, maybe a family friend, somebody who does it part time. They just don't have the experience to be able to make sure that they're taking full advantage of the market, taking full advantage of getting the house sold for you. And so that's where you need to make sure that you have a seller's agent, someone with experience that can really go out, market your home, make sure that they're putting it in front of those out of state buyers. Um, for like here in Arizona, we, we're getting people coming from California, Illinois, Washington. We want to target those. And having and an agent who has that experience, knows how to market it, um, has put together a plan to be able to do it. And it's not just listing the house um, and hoping everybody finds it. We want to make sure that the top agents out there, they do more than that. They go that next level and they be able to push it out to those uh, people, put it in front of that right person so we get it sold. All right, well, this is Sean Leonard with Housing Around AZ. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time.